Yo, make sure y'all follow me on Twitch and follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a lot of extra comedy skits that's not on YouTube. Also, if you share the video for me, help us reach 100K. I definitely appreciate it. Please subscribe if you're new. Ladies, try your best not to get in your feelings. I was young and dumb at the time. You guys already know, man. It's a new Monday. So it's another story time. Story time number 13 and a half. I think, yep, yeah, uh, whatever. The white girl with the big old boot. Part two, bro. Like, um, we gonna continue where we last left off. I'm not really gonna go through the whole introduction. You already know who's in it. And also know that this is based on a true story. The only thing different is the names, all right? I mean, what was on your mind when you was looking at me? <laughs> I mean, do you really wanna know the truth? As long as this ends out in a good thing, sure. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> well, um, to give you head in the bathroom. I'm sorry to fuck with. So a lot of you guys said that she pulled me in the comment section. That's fine. I'm not really complaining about that. But at this moment, I'm excited. I win regardless. <laughs> Wait till y'all see what happens next. To my young boys, what's one of the first things that you typically do after you pull a female? Yeah. What's going on with you, son? Tell me why I was talking to Shorty yesterday. She talking about giving me head in the bathroom. Oh, what? <laughs> you lying. I swear to God I'm not making that up. During our entire conversation, this man actually made me realize in detail. Get the digits and all that? Damn, I forgot. So you managed to get chicken right, but no number? Yeah, yeah, I know, but I kind of forgot when she had threw that opportunity in my face. Kind of wasn't thinking about that at the moment. So stupid. Not, it's not every day a woman hey, walks hey, up to you and hey, say, hey, let hey. me suck it. Uh, uh, hey. What did I tell you about making all that noise this late at night? But did this old bag of sand ruin my night? It is 11.30, you have school tomorrow. Hip-hop, all right. Anyway, how could I be so stupid not to get her phone number? Because you retarded, that's why. Yo. You better go to bed before your grandfather gets you. Man, I'm not worried about him. Yo, what we talking about what we talking about? I'm not worried about that little dentist, old Ricky Suave grease wearing. You still want to talk trash, huh? I was joking. Mm -hmm. I was joking. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you want your mouth You want to run your mouth? Ah. Them butt whippings didn't get to me last night. I had one mission on my mind today. Man, I felt like a kid that went to bed knowing that it's Christmas tomorrow and he got gifts waiting under the tree. I ain't care about education or nothing today. Cheeks on. The fact that she kind of just left me like you know, with that type of opportunity in my head, the only thing that made me want to do is see it once I got to class. That was all that was on my mind. Again, I'm pretty sure you guys will go ahead and agree with me, all my boys in the chat. You know, I just, I didn't know what to really do at this point. I just know that she left that opportunity, so I came to class the next day expecting anything. Wouldn't you? Once I got there, however, I just realized something that was very crucial to my day was missed. I would like a homework assignment. We're gonna make Her. A homework assignment. This girl had the nerve not to show up to class today. Like, I'm sitting here like, yo, like I, like I owe an explanation or something. Like, how are you just going to not come to class? So much for that. My whole day was ruined. Until I got out of class that morning. Oh, my God. What the hell are you looking at? Ah, so, you guys already know what happens next. We gonna play Guess the Scene. You know you gotta play it all off and act like you all hard with it. It's gonna be easy. Hold up. Didn't see this coming. Yes, it was this dramatic. Do I, do I even need to say anything? Yo, yo, all I'm gonna say is this. My boys know what I'm talking about. This became something that happened on a regular basis. Like again, and again, and again throughout the week, bro. I cannot look at her the same. She could even be in class actually doing her work and I can't help but to stare at it cause I already know what's gonna happen today during lunch. Just continuously happened again and again, bro. Oh, hey, it was amazing. you've been gone for a week. You finally got a taste of that white meat, huh? I'm pretty sure the answer at this point is already obvious. 
If I knew, I wouldn't have asked. And I have no complaints, my boy. No complaints at all. There is something strange about her, though. And what is that? So you gonna sit here and eat that in my face? See, this is why I can't stand black people, man. Y'all get on my nerves. That's exactly why I moved out the hood, bro. I mean, sometimes she don't come to lunch. Man, you looking for her again, ain't you? Well, I'm not even worried about her, yo. He even upgraded to the point that she came back to my house. I mean, my granddad's house, but you get the point. Anybody that knows me personally knows I don't even bring people to my house. But it was just something about her. Like, it was just so enjoyable. Jesus. Besides, being in school was becoming a little bit too risky. I think people started figuring us out anyway. Things were going great. I wasn't in no relationship or nothing, but it felt good to have somebody that can completely keep me empty and decent in moods, if you get what I'm talking about. Like, it, she was cool. Honestly, couldn't ask for anything else. Still weird me dating a white girl, but hey. Get out my fridge. I just came in here. Pop, what do you want, boy? Have some of this OJ? I'll go OJ on you if you don't get out my fridge. Uh, yeah, of course, since I had company in the house, I didn't really want to cause a scene, so I decided to comply with his rules. Pop, can you can I please have some OJ, man? I got company. And just like you, company ain't paying no bills. So until y'all stop paying a whole god damn. And I already want her to leave. The who's Baywatch child is this? Pop stop. Hi, Mr. Petty. Even the voice sound like vanilla. How you doing today, sweetie? The thing about my granddad is that he felt like as the older he got, the younger he mentally got. Couldn't stand a second of it. Okay, we get the point. Sure. get the right one. Oh, sweetie, you thirsty? You hungry? I'm making some eggs. Funny, because just a moment ago, he was okay with us dying of dehydration. Nah, she good. I wasn't talking to you. Now, sweetie, are you we hungry? just ate. She good. As you can tell, my grandfather likes her. And of course, you know, that ain't happening. What type of music you like, sweetie? I got some good tracks in here. Pop, do you think you should be asking these type of questions? What if I tell you to shut your ass behind up one more time? What, what type of music you like, sweetie? Go on the run, please. He don't pay no bills in the... Oh. Yep, keep walking. Oh, my oh, God. My Pop. Jesus Christ. Do you see the children she carrying on her back? Pop, what the heck are you talking about? Them big old water balloons. Let me show you. Pop. Let me show you. No, the hell are you doing? <sighs> so, this was going great. But unfortunately... It had to come to an end. I don't know what the heck actually happened, but after school, I didn't see her anymore. She didn't come for weeks. This was why. I was driving down the road one day, and a car wound up pulling up next to me. It was a gold BMW. I don't remember, so I just chose a gold car. Yo, yo, let me holler at you real quick. I have no idea who this is. It's only going to take a minute, yo. All right. This time I had custom rims. I wasn't going to mod into the game, but... Yeah, most people used to pull me over and ask me for that. That's the only reason why I pulled over. I figured he either wanted to take a picture or ask me where I got him from. So, just to answer that curious question, why would you pull over for a random... You, you get the point now. You get it. Yo, you know what, Jessica Taylor? That was random. Why, what's up? Before what happens next, on God, this story is true. Because that was my wife. Definitely didn't see this coming at all. Oh, wow. Okay. Come out in the car and talk to me real quick. All right. I thought things were finna get interesting. She's been looking for you for a while, homie. Dude look like a dark-skinned Norbert. At one point, I wanted to do some bad things to you. I'm not even gonna lie. If you're from the East Coast, you already know. Past two sentences, you're talking too much. I wanted to hit him, but I noticed that his partner actually had a gun and he was looking dead at me. I'm not afraid of guns, but I'm terrified of knives. And I'm not bulletproof. What you want me to do? I just wanted to get out my frustration and tell you how I feel man to man. Great. Now I gotta pretend like I care. When he was crying, two things did stick out. One, they have a son together. And two, the times that she disappeared during lunch, she was doing the things that she was lying to him that she was doing when she was really with me after school. Like she went to Walmart while we were at lunch, put the stuff in her trunk, and then came with me telling him that she was at Walmart. Hmm. Real crafty. But nonetheless, they wound up not doing anything. He just had to vent and get it off his chest. They're now divorced. I didn't mean to ruin a happy home. But clearly it wasn't happy after you. Stay tuned for the next episode.
She tryna fuck, we tryna fuck, bust on a block After the nut, turn